Hello everyone, welcome back. We've been talking about how to live a healthy and happy lifestyle, but you were you ever curious about what we do? Today we have a small surprise for you. We want to give you a tour of how a typical day looks like for us. Guess what we do first? We wake up in the morning because we are not vampires. The alarm goes off usually at 4.45 or 5.15. Majority of the time I consider myself successful and don't hit the snooze button. But sometimes, maybe on vacations or Sundays, I do enjoy that luxurious hour of sleep. I wake up a bit later and make our bed first. This is my very first success of the day, which immediately gives you a feeling of fulfillment, so your day can be only better. What is also important, you come back home to a clean flat. Then we wash our faces and brush. We use charcoal and our fingers because we are total hippies. <laughs> Just joking. We use only natural and organic products, non-fluoride toothpaste and electronic brush to save the whales. Actually, it wasn't a joke with the charcoal. We use charcoal paste and coconut oil to kill the germs. Then, when having shower, I always reach for my dry brush to get all the benefits of self-lymphatic drainage. I do sometimes. Then, while Vera is sleeping a little bit, I do choose to meditate. This is a recent habit that I've picked up and we use an application called Headspace. This is quite useful as it's got different packages depending on what you want to achieve. Whether it may be stress management or productivity, managing anxiety. And it's got even applications for kids. We're only promoting this because we've actually used it and actually find it useful. And goddamn, we actually love the brain emoji. And also, we're hoping for a sponsorship deal. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> then I managed to squeeze in about an hour or two of work. Work, meaning edit videos, transcript, because guys, we have over 100 subscribers. We have to keep all of them happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's because we're passionate about it and this is the personal growth method that we choose to use most of our productive hours in the morning. And given that we've only got 100 subscribers, if you do actually like this kind of videos, hit that subscribe button. And then I throw away my mouse and run to see where I'm struggling in bed. So we hug each other, have a little chat and wake up. And then the crucial part of the day comes. Glass of water with lemon and ginger. Morning is all about cleansing, detoxifying and hydrating your body. Morning should put your body and mind at ease. I usually drink warm water with lemon and ginger to wake up my digestive system, move out everything that got accumulated during the night. It also helps liver and kidneys do their job. And why lemon? It provides the body with alkaline-based minerals, which will feed your body with electrolytes and first and foremost, potassium. Hashtag healthy life hacks. Next, we move on to coffee. One of the most anticipated moments of my life. The day before, I actually go to bed dreaming about this moment. And we select the type of coffee and the grind, depending on the mood we have. Cause, cause we are very sophisticated, you know? No, we do actually like coffee. We enjoy the art of drinking coffee. We do have quite a few choices of coffee um, and we do enjoy the actual moment of making a coffee and having that in the morning. Usually tend to have that black. However, if we do actually feel under the weather, we do replace it with a tea with a little bit of honey and lemon. Finally, it comes the time to prepare food. If you follow us on Instagram, you know that green juice is my second name. You should follow us. We love liquid first breakfast, and actually there is real science behind it. Let's hear it. After whole night, your body is sluggish, dehydrated, and your role is to help your body to wake up by hydrating, cleansing, and detoxifying. And indeed, fruits and vegetables have these properties. Your digestion in the morning is not at its best, so you don't want to overwhelm it with fats and heavy breakfast. Hashtags eggs and bacon. But, but we have eggs and bacon sometimes, don't we? For a second breakfast, usually oh, okay. we eat it. Then, provided that we do have some free time, then we used to stretch or roll at home to get ourselves a little bit more limber and actually move around before we actually tackle the day. Before we get dressed, there's one more thing that we do. We write down our to-do lists. In this case, we write down things like, we want to be an amazing human being. 
we want to do 10,000 things today. No, we're just kidding. We write down things from grocery shopping to what we need to get reviewed at work. Majority of the reason that we do this is to manage our daily tasks, but at the same time to have a sense of commitment at the end of the day when we cross that off and feel like winners. And then we get dressed, prepare our lunches, snacks to keep ourselves satisfied during the day and not run to the vending machines, guys. To grab some sweets. It's forbidden. Whilst we do actually get dressed, I do actually like my suits and my ties. Yes, I could get rid of some of these things, but come on guys, stop judging us. We're not actual perfect minimalists or essentialists like Matt Diavella. And then the most important part of our day, we travel separately because we don't like each other too much. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. Basically, I have to be at the office a little bit earlier. So while commuting, we usually read, listen to podcasts or make some notes for the next episodes. Or we simply jam up our favorite song and miss the bus stop as we let our troubles pass by. Kidding. We do listen to music when we want to unwind. What's your favorite music? Comment below. All right. When we get to work, we keep it ultra clean. We walk. <laughs> <laughs> Standing desks. Walking stairs physios, fascia treatments, outlook reminders to get up and walk away from our desks, coffee catch-ups outside the office, water at the desk. Oh my God, we are so, so active. All joking aside, however, we do minute but small things to introduce activity whilst we do a desk job. After work, when we commuting back home, this time we make more of an effort to travel back together so that we can reflect or whine about the day. <laughs> Basically, we plan what we will have for dinner, whether we're we'll gymming, we posting on Instagram, discussing video ideas, because as you probably know, YouTube is our whole life now. <laughs> to be honest, sometimes we're just holding hands and enjoying our company. Yes, I do. So when we get home, we have to decide on what we are gonna eat. So we whack on the microwave and throw in the ready meal meal that we just purchased at a supermarket. This is all jokes. We cook something light, whether it may be fish, whether it may be a soup, or sometimes a protein shake after, after the gym. We try and keep it light and eat whenever possible so that we give it enough time to digest before we go to bed. Now it's time for evening activity. We aim to go to the gym three out of five days in a week. And sauna, especially during winters. If we feel like it, we do tennis, climbing, rollerblading, or simply we go for a walk in a park. And if there's any more time left during the day, we try and focus that on, again, some more productive tasks of what we need to achieve in this venture. Very important during night routine, we avoid blue lights and we use blue light blockers before we go to bed. And around 10, 30, 11, we turn off Wi-Fi, brush and climb into a nice cozy bed looking forward to the next day. So, is this routine very different from others? Maybe. We just have some basic things that we do on a daily basis that improve our health and also try to avoid any tasks that actually are unproductive that waste time. Thank you guys, that's it for this video. If you really liked our routine and this video, please give us a thumbs up because it really supports our channel. Comment and share this video on social media and we'll see you on the next video. Bye!